Hey guys, this is going to be a basilisk slaying guide. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to start out in Sears Village. And to get there, you need to teleport to Camelot. And then you need to go west just a little bit until you see the bank. <coughs> and then from Sears, we're going to head to the Slayer Cave near Relica. So to get there, you're going to go north from Sears. You're going to follow this road north. Then you're going to go west, and then you're going to go north again across the bridge and then once you go across the bridge you're gonna go straight east and then you're gonna end up at this little dungeon marker right here <coughs> so what to wear first of all you have to wear a mirror shield there's no option if you're I don't care if you're level 100 if you're not wearing the mirror shield you're going to die or at least you're gonna get torn up and have to teleport at least do not forget your mirror shield and besides that, just wear your best equipment and you're good to go. For inventory, if you're a high level, if you're around 80 or so, I'd only recommend bringing about 4 pieces of food, or maybe like 5 to 8 pieces of food, and then <coughs> the Slayer Gem, and then they'll teleport back to Camelot, and you can leave the rest of your inventory open. But if you're a lower level, I'd say 40 to you know, 70, they're going to hit a little more on you, so you're going to want to bring a full inventory of food. So let's get started going there. <coughs> We're going to go north from Sears Village. Sorry guys, this dude's like bugging me. Alright, you're gonna go north from Sears Village. You're gonna head west. Past Sinclair's Mansion up there to start Murder Mystery. You're gonna pass one bridge. You're gonna keep going west. You're gonna head north. If you're low on energy, you can rest right here. I suggest doing so if you're low on energy. <coughs> then get to about 80 or so percent, and then head north again. You're going to pass this level 64 wolf. You're going to pass a second bridge and then you are going to head east if you go west you're gonna run into a bunch of wolves you're gonna wanna go east don't forget uh... you can follow this road right here if you get lost easily but you, it's not gonna take you all the way to where you wanna go if you're low agility, I do suggest bringing an energy potion with you. I didn't do that, but, you know, I never do. I always forget, so. Okay, you're going to pass the tree marker for the golden tree or whatever. And then you're going to see this cave. You don't want to go in this cave. You want to go behind this cave. This is where Lolly is. You want to go past Lolly. And then here's the dungeon marker for the cave. <laughs> okay, first things first. Do not attack anything in this cave that you're not uh, familiar with. Do not attack these cave crawlers. They will poison you. There's a summoning obelisk right there if you need to use it. If you have a high agility level, you can jump across the chasm right here. To get, for, to get straight to Pyre Fiends, which is closer, but you need level 81 agility. So just click over in there and your guy will run. You're going to pass the Rock Slugs.
you're gonna pass the cockatrice or the cockatrice, how you, whatever the plural form is. I'm going to turn my run back on. You're going to pass Pyre Fiends. And then the next room you go in will be Obelisks. Or, no, sorry, Basilisks. I don't know why I said Obelisks. Alright, here you go. These are level 61, so if you're lower level, they might be a little harder. Now, don't forget, always wear your mirror shield here, no matter what. As you can see, these are a task for a lot of higher levels too, and it makes me feel kind of newbie standing here with these guys, but you know, whatever. When you get a task of these, it's usually quite a few, so if you're lower level, you're probably going to have to bank a few times. If you're a higher level, then you should be okay. Um, they drop a lot of good things, they drop a lot of charms, a lot of seeds, a lot of herbs. Uh, you will make a pretty decent profit here. They only drop normal bones. They drop uh, mithril spears. They they drop all kinds of stuff. But the main drops you're gonna want to pick up are seeds, herbs, and charms. So, but they'll drop quite a few of those. They'll drop a f few rainers. They'll drop seeds. Sometimes they even drop snapdragon seeds. So. A lot of people just like to train here, even if it's not their slayer task, because of the good drops. See, there's Law Runes and a Green Charm. But yeah, guys, um, this is pr that's pretty much all of the guide. Um, I'll see you later.